Do you really think we should be doing this here? No worries, man. Normal people can't see magic, see? Go on, Ollie boy. Cast Gateway. Um... All right, Gateway. Opens up a doorway that transports the caster between worlds. Let's do this shit. Gateway! Shunting, crybaby bunting. For the last time, it's Oliver! Hey, it's not bad work for a crybaby, this. Ugh. Well, that's one way to get moving. All right. <laughs> I like how the loading screen is the spells. That's nice. Ah! Damn it, now Lion King again! Ah! <sighs> right. Let's get going, shall we? I've seen the movie twice already throughout this game. <laughs> But there's a tidy way to go yet. Hey, Mr. Drippy, that was pretty neat just now, huh? Oh, that herd of elk. Enjoy your first encounter with the majestic wildlife of our mysterious world, did you? Uh-huh. Huh? Jeepers. Oh, Nickers! Where did he spring from? Ah! Uh, uh, what do we do? He's not like the big softies just now. He's itching for a fight. Proper savage. Let's run away! No, use that stick you got by there. Give him a whacking and send him packing. Huh? Huh? Give him a whacking ah! and send him packing. <laughs> Look lively, he's making his move. I love that line. That's a great line. Way to rhyme, Drippy. Great job. Let's do it. All right. Uh, don't fret, Ollie boy. Let your old pal Drippy talk you through the basics of battle, even though I've done the battle system already. <laughs> First off, take a look at the green gauge. That's health points. The more HP you have, the healthier you are. But if you run out, you die. There you go. <laughs> See a blue gauge underneath that? That's your magic points. Don't worry about magic for now, man. Let's talk about beasties first, shall we? They got HP, they got all that stuff. You can see lots of information about them up by here on the right. There's useful, eh? The red gauge shows, it, shows their HP. Get that down to nothing and you've won! Wahoo! These speech bubble things down here by are the good man's battle stuff. I like totally butchered that, but you know! <laughs> well, that's enough by- That's enough to be going on with. Try giving the runner a smack with your stick! I'm gonna smack this bastard with my stick all up through the day. Here we go! Oh, I have to actually click. Go! Smack! Smack! Oh, sorry. That's what they say when you find an enemy's weak spot or, spot or block a big attack, see? Oh, look at that! It's dropped something! Best pick it up, eh? I'm gonna pick that shit up. That's what's known as a glim, Ollie boy. Enemies drop them in the heat of battle. Green glims let. Like that one you just grabbed will restore a few of your HP, which is awesome. Blue ones give you MP back, which will become fucking important as hell. <laughs> oh, I know that because I played the demo. Oh, and you can also give your HP and MP a boost with spells and items, ain't it? Of course, you just have to take my word for that. 
Well, with you not having anything at the moment. <laughs> Okie dokie. That's enough for me. It's time for you to practice what I preach. Go on, boy bot. Boy bot. <laughs> what? Okay. Give him my four. Yeah! I wish I had some magic, but I'm just gonna slash him across the face with my stick. Hell yeah! Almost level two. I'm so proud of myself. That was my first battle. Jeepers creepers. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Our world is absolutely riddled with beasties. But keep that up, and you'll have nothing to worry about. Right, let's get a move on, shall we? Sure, Mr. Drippy. But where are we going? Well, first off, we need to get you a wand. But I already have a wand. You're having a laugh, aren't you? That thing's about as magical as a flipping cabbage. You might just squeeze a gateway spell out of it, but you can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, I wish you'd think before you open your mouth. Oh. Excuse me, I just got here? <laughs> now, I told you Ding Dong Dell was just over by yonder, didn't I? Well, if we're very lucky, we might find a wand with a bit more oomph down by there. So, are wands really so hard to find here? Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things. But since Shaddaa showed up, magic's taken a real nosedive. He banned people from using it, see? Cursed anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary, huh? Well, he turned me into a flipping doll, didn't he? Just saying his name's enough to make most folks prick it. Still, I'd rather be a doll than have him go poking round in my heart. No one wants to be broken-hearted. Broken-hearted? Like, sad? Worse than that. Much worse. It's when he steals a piece of a person's heart. Poor beggars don't know whether they're alive or dead. That's no way to live, man. So that's why they're all so scared of him, huh? We can't let him go on doing this. Well, it's not a matter of letting him, is it? It's not like people flipping enjoy it. That's why I brought you here, innit? You might just be able to stop him, see? You really think I can? Course you can! You are the pure-hearted one! And the legends say that the pure-hearted one will drive away the darkness. We'll teach you a few tasty spells and you'll be ready to face him in no time. Sound good to you? Okay, I'll do it. I'll learn magic. Of course you will, and that's why we need to find you a better wand. All right, let's head for Ding Dong Dell. Tidy. I always love those kind of names. Ding Dong Dell. Okay. Guess we're gonna head there. I'm just gonna say I love this friggin' world map. <laughs> it's like another reason why I wanted to do this game is this. <laughs> Ain't it beautiful, Ollie boy? Uh, it's good to be back. Our world is absolutely riddled with monsters. One of them spots you, you'll see a big exclamation point <laughs> pop up over its head and it'll charge. When it gets within touching distance, you'll have to fight on your hands. If you run out of HP in the middle of battle, you'll be out for the count, so be careful, ain't it? Oh, and here's a tiny little technique for you. If you sneak up behind a monster without them noticing, you can get in the first hit, giving you in the upper hand. The only thing is, it works the other way around too. When a monster sneaks up on you, they'll be able to get the first hit in. The Rotters. <laughs> the Rotters. Oh yeah, here. It's just a little something. Consider a gift from Lord High Lord of Fairies. Got loaves of white bread. Where were you keeping that, uh, Drippy? <laughs> Where were you keeping that bread? Uh, thanks. But what do I do with these? Just have a munch on one when you're feeling a little bit ropey. And you'll be as right as the rain in no time. Kinda butchered that, but you know. But wizard cannot live by bread alone, Ollie boy. He needs a proper wand and all. And that knobby thing in your hand is doing my flippin' head in. <laughs> See that big castle in the north? That's Ding Dong Dell, that is. I reckon we'll find ourselves a wand by there. So let's get moving, shall we? Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Look at all these moths. Dude, that water looks great. Just saying. Oh, it looks pretty nice. Man, I just love this world map. I I just love it. That's all I can really say. I, I love this world map. It's so friggin' beautiful. It's like it's like Tales of Vesperia world map, 
Except they add so much more detail to it. I'm at fight. As my stomach grumbles. Let's go. I feel like hitting a hitting a bird with a stick. It's called animal abuse, my friends. Die! Can't handle the stick, man. Can't handle the stick. That's what I'm talking about. I I want to get to level two before I head in. At least try and sneak up on this guy. Watch this shit. Oh God! Ah, you didn't get me, bitch. doing twos on me. This is dangerous. Man, I want to dodge. Well, I guess for now it doesn't really matter. Also, if you haven't noticed, um, um, I actually decided to make my own background this time around for this LP. And we get a bunch of awesome stuff for reach level two. Nice. I'll probably do some more of that off screen. So, um, I, I did, um, I did make my own background this time around, so if you want to check that out, um, yeah, that's on my channel by the time this goes up, obviously. So I hope you like it. I mean, it's pretty simple. So I didn't really do too much with it, but, um, I didn't really want to bother anyone about it, so I decided to do it myself, so. Oh, knickers, there's something I forgot to tell you. What's that, Mr. Drippy? Here in my world, you can use the right... Yeah, I was doing that already. <laughs> if you're having any trouble with the controls, go to the settings in your main menu and have a fiddle with them. Yeah, I was doing that already. It was like, wee! I didn't know you could do it while you're talking. That's cool. <laughs> Just listen to that music, man. Oh, I love that shit. You can, switch, you can switch vibration on and off there as well, ain't it? Speaking personally, I'd have it on. <laughs> nice, Trippy. A rumble just ain't a rumble without a bit of rumble, is it? Now, I know this is a lot to take in, Ollie boy, but I'm sure you'll get used to it. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I guess. Yep, we got all this stuff. Is the rumble feature on? I'm guessing it's, it's just automatic. No? Yes. I would rather have rumble. I want rumble. Actually, I don't know if the my mic will pick that up, so maybe I shouldn't have it on. Oh, this is like the demo. This is like pretty much where the demo this is. Like a classic case of broken heartedness. Broken heartedness? You mean that thing you were talking about before? That's right. The broken hearted are people who've had part of their hearts stolen. Poor souls just uh, aren't themselves. Go all weird and useless, uh, they do. So his heart was broken uh, by. Keep up, will you? Shadar, innit? If anyone tries to stand up to him or does anything he doesn't like, he breaks their hearts into pieces so they can't put up a fight. Jeepers. If he stays that way, we can't get into Ding Dong Dell. I think I know what I'm going to put on my channel now, because he keeps saying Jeepers. Is that like his catchphrase? <laughs> Jeepers! <laughs> I'll probably put that on my channel now. <laughs> then you better cure him, ain't it? Ollie boy. It's time to mend your first broken heart. Mend it? But how do I do that? <laughs> well, you can't just do it. You can't do it just yet. There's a couple of things we'll be needing first. But I know an old man who's just who's got just what you need. Proper useful, ain't I? Or I am. <laughs> I'm gonna keep messing up his lines probably throughout this entire LP. So I'm just warning you. It's probably gonna happen. <laughs> an old man, what old man? What do you mean what old man? The old man, eh? There's a wood to the north of here, proper deep and deeply dark, is it? It is. That's why they call it the deep dark wood. That's where the demo took place. Makes sense, I guess. So I guess we gotta head back there. To Deep Dark Wood, that's where a demo took place, so I know pretty much everything in there. <laughs> Look at you being all friggin' hyper and stuff. You just slapped me across the face with that fish, fish, fish pole. You wanna enter town, do you? Well, I'm afraid that's impossible at the moment. It's my colleague, you see. He's the one in charge of letting people in, but recently he's just been refusing to do it. He says he can't be bothered. 
Yeah, I can tell he can't be bothered. Look at him. He's a piece of he's a piece of work over here. Look at this guy. Ugh. Ugh. Oh dear. I do hope they let us in soon. I need to buy the ingredients for my husband's favorite dinner. Cause I can't cook anything else besides the f my my husband's favorite, otherwise he'll slap me across the face. Mama, I need a pee pee. <laughs> All right then, that's great. Looks like uh, Studio Ghibli's doing doing its thing, right? <laughs> Seems like something they would do. Wonder why they're not letting anyone in. Cause that guy's an asshole. Oh, thank you, beautiful music of beautifulness. So I guess we'll head for the north. It's, I'm, I'm kind of glad they had the whole uh, star. Damn it. I was trying to sneak up on that guy. I'm glad they had the whole star thing. Otherwise, I'd be like, do where do I go? It's so beautiful. I don't know where to go. Ah, you missed. Whoa. I didn't think he was going to slap me across the face with his butt, but okay. So yeah, I couldn't afford the Wizards edition, sadly. I did, however, get a... I pre-ordered the game at GameStop, and they gave me this alternate box for the game, which is pretty cool. I didn't think I was going to get them and attack this guy. Boom, bitch! Got you! I got this alternate box, so it's fucking cool. Watch this! You missed. I have to get used to running around, but obviously I'm not used to it. But I got him. I can't wait to get some familiars. I really like. I really like that I can just run around with familiars and stuff. So I'm really excited to do that. Um, and this game has been getting a lot of good ratings from what I've seen, so I'm excited for the game. It's like, a, like all 8s, 9s, 10s, so I'm like, hell yeah, look at that. Or liking that. <laughs> Fight this guy. Sleepy fall. Sleepy foul. <laughs> wow, what a wimp. Yeah, I really like that alternate box, though. It's like aluminum and everything. So awesome. It's really cool. I really like it. I was like, get this sh this, get this get awesome game out of this shitty box and put it in that thing, because hell yeah. Not that the box, the regular box is, like, bad, but, you know. I just like, I like that one way better. <laughs> Leave me alone, man! Dude, you can you can back off now. I I, I actually kind of want to fight him. Got you. It's an Ouroboros. Let's go. That reminds me of Tiger and Bunny. Cause I was watching that recently. No. Yeah, what you got, Ouroboros? It's also like a full mill alchemist reference. <laughs> I'm trying my best not to grind right now, but I kind of want to get to level three before getting in there. <laughs> Is there any monsters up here I can I can wallow with? What about you, Mister? Let's do this. We were, we had a stare down before the fight. We were just looking at each other like, yeah, this is happening. I'm like finding a dog. Nice! Gotcha. Yes. Yeah, obviously the battle system is not gonna- Yay, I got level 3. Obviously the battle system is not gonna pick up until we get a familiar. But for now we're at level 3, so let's head into the deep dark wood. <sighs> Should be good. Should be good. If you've seen my video on the demo of this version, 
um, it's it's awesome. Then you, if you've seen it, you pretty much know what's gonna happen in here. So, the deep dark wood, forest of the fairy tales. I think it said. Kind of skipped. Cause it's talking about my own thing. Look at that. It's a waystone. That was useful. A waystone. Yeah, mun. The, they're these ancient stones. See, you can use them to restore a record of your adventure so far. You could just open the menu and save. But okay. In wild places like forests and so on, you can't just plonk yourself on the nearest rock and write your story down. Oh yeah, and okay, that makes sense. So, okay, but why not? Why not, he says. Give me strength, man. Because they're crawling with horrible beasties! <laughs> they are? That sounds kind of scary. You'll get used to it, man. Just remember, you can't go recording your progress any old where. Allow me to explain a little more. Touch a waystone and your health and magic power will be fully restored. Not bad, eh? That's not all, Mon. These little beasties also let you save your progress. Traveler's best friend, they are. Which is why you should stop at every waystone you see and make a good use of it. Better safe than sorry, ain't it? Sure, Mr. Drippy. Tidy. That's what I like to hear. Let's hope you're as good as your word. Righto, next stop, the old man of the woods. Alright, well I'm gonna stop right here. Look at that, there's useful. If you're lucky, you'll be able to use one of these one day. Oh, okay. <clears throat> your HP and MP are completely restored. I guess I'll save my progress for the first time. So, let's just save, save the game. So there we go, I guess we're heading into the deep dark wood, meet up with the dude, following, following my best friend Drippy now. I'm glad, I'm glad like, Oliver's all alright with all this. He's like, oh yeah, heading to a new world, yeah, whatever. I'm like 10 years old, I'm good. I got this. It's a very beautiful for us, so.